I would not have uh, come up and stated the cause of death if I felt any additional bones would help. Uh, on the, there are very few uh, remaining uh, fragments uh, left, and uh, we believe that uh, this will be uh, finished soon. Our protocol at the medical examiner's office, if the next of kin is in a jail or incarcerated, is to uh, notify the jail to get a chaplain uh, to go and tell the next of kin. I do know um, that uh, the grandmother, uh, we tried to reach out to the grandmother uh, also. Uh, I believe it did get uh, notified, yes. The grandmother did get notified. As our protocol, uh, our protocol is that we will have to get a release uh, from the next of kin. If the next of kin cannot give us a release, uh, she'll authorize someone else in the family uh, to give us a release. That release will then be given to the funeral home. We will then release uh, the body to the funeral home, and if they want a second exam, it will then be done at that point. It is up to them what, what they want to do with the remains. Dr. G, what percentage of the body was recovered, and was there any other you know, strong evidence found with it that would indicate who that body was? I, I will not uh, comment on the specifics of the other evidence there. A large percentage of the skeleton is re uh, recovered. That's why we said for a child, some of the bones are, are tiny. Uh, all the bones are not developed. They're in pieces. Uh, because of the way a child develops, and so there are numerous more. There, are, a child, a skeleton has many more bones than an adult skeleton. Some of the bones are tiny, as big as a pebble, and some of these have been recovered. And it is that's why I said they did a superb job uh, in recovering some of these tiny bones. Question for Sheriff Barry: Now that we have a positive ID, that this is. Uh, I have not personally spoken with her, her attorney whatsoever. We were in contact with the uh, state attorney's office. They know uh, what's going on in this particular case. And uh, now we're going to all work together to uh, bring this case to a conclusion and get it prepared for court. Would you like to change? That is up to the state attorney's office. Sheriff, do we know how Casey and the I do not know, and I uh, I was not part of the team uh, that uh, made that notification. This question for Dr. G. You mentioned that the toxicology test is not complete, and that we're looking at the and bones. Do you know the time frame would that be going, and what type of chemicals are you looking into in that toxicology test? Again, um, the, the specimens are with the toxicologist. Uh, the toxicology will be uh, partially done at the FBI lab and partially done at the University of Florida. Um, and I don't want to give any more specifics. I really have no idea what their timeline is. I'm giving them as much time as they want. My report will not be uh, released uh, until that toxicology is done. But the rest, as I stated in my uh, statement. No, ma'am. In an agreement with the state attorney's office and following the advice of all the uh, investigators in this case, we cannot talk about the evidence. I didn't hear the... Tim Miller, do you find it in Maine? I mean, giving him money for it or essentially, you mean, this body that they found before? Absolutely not. We did not have a starting location, and we were doing the very best we can. And Tim Miller and Equisearch and all those volunteers did a great job coming down here. And uh, I don't put price tags on finding a little child. So I think that's very important uh, that we all remember that. 
uh, yes, uh, this has been a long uh, case, but it's by far not over with yet, and we've got a lot more to do to get it ready to go to trial. Sure. What can you tell us about the gentleman, uh, the, the water meter reader that's the, uh, found the remains? How quickly did he tell you that he called as early as uh, the middle of August about, about possibly something being in that area? All I know is what my detective team has told me, that he's been very cooperative, and, uh, you know, he did what a good citizen's supposed to do. And, uh, and now we're trying to close up all the, um, you know, leads on the case and take it from there. Dr. G, with no trauma to to the bones or to the skeleton, and maybe the toxicology report being difficult to figure out the cause of death, is there another way to determine how Kaylee died, or is it possible that we might, might not know, at least through your office, how she was killed? Um, the cause of death is going to be listed as homicide by undetermined means. Um, I'm issuing that death certificate this afternoon. If I felt that there was um, any hope, I probably wouldn't issue it at this time. I think that it'll probably stay uh, that way. Chair Ferry, um, has it been determined yet if the bag that the tipster initially saw is the same bag that the remains were found in? No, it has not. The, uh, uh, the tips on August 11th, 12th, and 13th are being reviewed by our uh, professional standards division and uh, they're on top of that as we speak. Of course, right after that we had Tropical Storm Fay. So uh, if we missed a window of opportunity, we don't know if we have or not, but uh, we've, we've done the very best we can from the get-go on this particular case and we will get to the, uh, we'll get to the bottom of it. This question for the sheriff and the FBI, but I'm curious if you can uh say, is anybody else now being investigated for this crime? Is there a suggestion that uh, Casey Anthony, who's charged with first degree murder, may have been working with anybody else or had help for anybody else? I, I, on the behalf of the FBI, I can say that uh, we covered uh, over 400 leads outside of the, outside of the state of Florida. Uh, in a number of different states, and in fact, outside the continental United States. And at no time do we find any evidence that uh, this young child left this location. Uh, we have no evidence at this point that, I, that would lead us to believe anything else other than what you see here today. And I'll let the sheriff speak. No, I believe uh, Steve answered it very well, and of course, uh, our detectives have been on it from the get-go, our CSI people. Uh, people need to realize we took 50, over 5,600 tips on this particular case, both state and nationwide. So it's uh, been a massive undertaking, and we're going to try to connect the dots and, as I said before, get it ready for trial. Yes, sir. Dr. G, this question is for you. Um, what factors do you consider when you're looking at the evidence that was homicide? I went over that uh, during the uh, press statement that the manner of death's an opinion based on available information, including examination of the body, information from the scene, as well as circumstantial evidence. And based on all of those, the manner of death is considered a homicide. Sheriff, how has this case impacted you personally and just your thoughts that this kind of resolution came before you? Up well, uh, this would be a police chief's or a sheriff's nightmare case. And it's uh, got tremendous uh, media exposure. Uh, I think there's been an open wound in the community. And I believe we can start putting some closure to those open wounds. And uh, having, uh, having a kid at the, uh, you know, I've raised two girls. Goodness gracious. The, as uh, Steve Iverson said from the FBI, bottom line is, folks, no child should have to go through this. And we have far too many of these incidents across this country uh, all the time. And uh, I think that's why, in is a statement to Tim Miller and Equisearch and all those uh, people that helped, I think that's what uh, community involvement's all about because people do care. And I think they even care even more when it's a small child. So uh, it'll bring a little closure to the case.